I was working on a project where we wanted to replace the contents of an HTML heading element. We wanted to capture the HTML before the response was written and use a regular expression to swap out the contents. The approach taken was to modify the response using a J2EE filter. In order to perform this operation, you need to create an HTTP servlet response wrapper and pass it to the doFilter method which overrides the getWriter and getOutputStream method. Let's see it in action. Since Spring makes it easy to set up and run a Java project, let's generate a project from the Spring Spring Initializer website by selecting a web and velocity as a template engine. Next we can create a template to render, a controller to return the view, a filter, and code to register the filter. One more thing to note, the filter will be registered using Servlet 3.0 and Spring mechanisms. In the instance you do not have Spring or Servlet 3.0 to register your filter, you could register it within the WebXML. In our template, our use case will be to append text to the HTML heading elements Let's run the results to validate our setup is working. In order to capture the response before it is written, we need to create a HTTP servlet wrapper that overrides the getWriter and getOutputStream method. We will create an additional method, getCaptureAsString, which will return the bytes as a string so we can modify the results in the filter. Next, we'll want to modify the filter and apply the regex. The wrapper is first passed to the doFilter method of the filter chain, which gives us the ability to modify and capture the response as a string. Next, we will modify the filter to check and capture the response as a string if the content type is HTML. If it is, we will execute a regex to find the instances of H2 and replace them with H3 and append the text HTML replaced. Let's run the example and inspect the output. You will notice that the H2 was replaced with an H3 and the HTML replaced been appended to our hello world text. While this is one approach to replacing values within your template, if you see a repeated pattern, you may want to consider a different approach as it could lead to confusing and long-term maintainability issues. Thanks for joining in today's Level Up. Have a great day.